Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Andrew Cannon, to get the We Can Game. In the last episode of Can Play Far Cry 3 Blind, we made our way and got the knife that Buck has been after. In this episode, we are going to head to Buck, but I also want to see what guns are for sale. See if there's anything new. I'm gonna go ahead and re-ammo up, because, you know, we're here, might as well. I don't think there's gonna be anything too bizarre or new, but we're checking out all the same. I think it's going to be more of what we saw already. Snipers, we own everything. LMGs, we own everything. Launchers, I haven't really played. I haven't really played with this yet. Hmm, this could be fun to play with. You know what, let's go ahead and replace the Shadow with the GL94. Let's see if I can customize it. Uh, no weapons attachments, I mean, I guess. We can make it eh, deep jungle. We'll go for jungle look. Why not? Haven't confirmed a lot of different customizations. Just having a little bit of fun as we look through specials. We have everything. I don't think there's much I can customize. Well, actually, can I? I can only have one, though. Okay, then. I think I'll keep that. But good to know. So we've gotten our a more interesting gun. And we are going to go find... Something I hope very interesting, but it's not letting me have it. I guess we're too close to the town center. Let's see. How do we get up there? Okay, I am kind of in the right path. I gotta go over there. Definitely need some blue leaf, so if I see any, I will <laughs> take a little detour. But all in all, I am very curious to see where this story is gonna keep taking us here. We have our friend on the line and I want to make sure one I'm tired of working with Buck I don't hate the missions I think they've actually been very fun they've been very exploratory however end of the day he does have you know Keith so for that I want to make sure we you know we're holding him accountable Anything that happens to our friend is his fault. Period. Chicken. Let's go in. I have your knife. <laughs> you found it. Go on. Give it over. Keith first. All right. It's through the door. You gotta hand it to the Chinese. When they disemboweled you, they did it in bloody style. <laughs> Can you imagine getting shivved by this? It's like Shakespeare stabbing you with his quill. Keith. Please, no more. Please, I beg you. I can't take any more. Jason, you gotta get me out of here. I'm begging you, please. You gotta get me out of here, man. I'm getting you out, okay? Yeah, you promise. You gotta promise me. Yeah, look, about that, mate. I am grateful, mate. And uh, I'd really like to show my appreciation, you know. Proper. Like a man should. You said we could leave, you fuck! No, 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 no. actually, what I said was, Keith could leave with you, but you're not going anywhere. We're walking through that you door. You are what I say you are. I'll take you bloody if you like. I like my meat rare. Whoa. Didn't expect this. Interesting. A fight with quick time events. Buck betrayed us. I saw it coming, but you know. Honestly, at this point, everyone in this isle island has tried to betray us, so... Oof! I've got you. Jason? Are you sure he's dead? Everything's gonna be okay. Come with me, I know a place where you'll be safe.
Rescue Keith. Whew, what a fight. Didn't really expect that. I like the walrus, best said Alice. Because you see, he was a little sorry for the poor oysters. He ate more than the carpenter, though, said Tweedledee. Daisy, Lee's and Oliver are here. You'll be safe. Look, just don't tell them about this, okay? I won't. Well, this fuck, man. I thought I could handle my shit. And I can. Look, you'll come back from this, all right? None of us will. I'll get Riley, and we'll be back in Santa Monica in no time. Riley's dead. I'm sorry. He tried to escape, and they shot him. Keith? I'm sorry. Keith! Please. Hey. Not hey. Riley. Man, what happened to you? It's a long story. Let's get him cleaned up. They killed him. Boss and Hoyt, those motherfuckers. Wasn't one brother enough? I'll get them. All of them. I swear. Hey. Jason, what's wrong? Riley's dead. You need to process this. Why don't you stay here? I can help. I can take care Stop of you. Stop making this about us! What are you talking about? My brother just died, and I need to deal with it on my own, okay? Okay. I'll be here if you need me. Honestly, I think she made the right call. I think, uh... Trying, I get Jason's anger. It's a hard situation. The knife's for you. Skill points earned. It's it's a rough situation. I mean, we've gone so far for Riley, you know. I mean, a lot of this is for you know saving everyone, and that's a hard one. I oh man, I don't know. That's a really tough one. Poor Jason. Move below. We finally have this one. I probably should have gotten it a while. Death from above. Space to jump onto two enemies. I mean, we're getting some more stuff. I feel really bad. Keith Ramsey. Let's learn a little bit more about Keith. Your friend Keith Ramsey, the eye banker in college. He was a member of the DKC fraternity. Did you know he was caught cheating on several tests, but his pops bailed him out? Also, he has a description to over 20 online porn sites. The more you know. Well, I feel bad for Keith. I think it was heavily implied that Buck was sexually assaulting him. And that's, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. That's really messed up. Seems we have another one we can eat, so. Let's live a little bit more about our past. Oh, we're dancing again. It's always interesting to see. Look at the lights. Oh, I'm doing my best to look at the lights. So we keep going back to this club. The music is uh, the very least interesting. We can see Keith getting a little wild. I wonder if we're going to find out who actually got us trapped here. Oh. We got into fights on the dance floor? This is new. Alright, so Jason's got a couple of moves. How rowdy did we get? So it just seems like they're a bunch of college kids. Come 
Casey, get it, get it. Close, close, close. Did you need to count oh, yet? Yeah. I did. I had to. I had to. Wow. I got wicked. munchies, man. All I need is an ankle tattoo, and this trip is complete. Are you looking for a yet? You looking for a Yancha tattoo? Yeah. I know this great guy near the Scion BTS station. Oh, hey, everyone. This is Doug. He's the DJ here, an all-around excellent guy. Hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. Uh, you, Jason says you guys are doing yeah. the Asian thing. Yeah, uh, Bangkok was our last stop. Good choice. Always good to go with the man. Oh, <laughs> definitely. You know so, it. So, uh, you got anything else specific planned? Ah, uh, we're just seeing where the flow takes us. <laughs> right. Well, you guys have money, right? Yeah, you got enough to charter a boat? That guy does. Because yes. I know this island where you could do anything. Wow. All right, well, what about something extreme? Skydiving? Oh! Shit. You get a plane, you parachute down to the island. That's what I'm talking about! Uh, jump blind? That's risky. Oh, come on. It come is, on, it's risky! We can go tomorrow. Yeah, come on, thanks! Why are you acting like it's such a pussy? Lisa, it's perfect. Now we have to do it. We're in. So where's this island? Wow. Jason better take a little bit of humble pie here, remembering he's the one who kind of met the DJ that brought us to the island. You're not innocent here, Jason. Maybe it's guilt talking. Mm. Definitely got to be hard. I mean, we rescued another friend. We're making progress, but oh gosh, this is, like I said, bare minimum, very difficult. See if they can talk a little bit more to us. <laughs> this is some wicked fine shit. <laughs> I heard about your brothers. I'm... That's fucked up. We all took care of each other after Dad died. Until now. We're lucky to have you around. My parents, <laughs> they were too busy traveling the world to notice me. You guys are my family now. And losing Riley and Grant <laughs> fucking hurts. Yeah. Hey, can I have a hit of that? No. No, you keep the path. And you get us out of here left of us. <sighs> I'm being such a downer. Must be the MDMA from two days ago. Okay, the so Tuesdays. Sorry. No, it's all right. Wish I knew what to do. He helped as much as he could. I do think it's important that we keep, to his credit, the path. I mean, one of us has to be sober through this all, and I mean, I just, I'm pretty sure I took a psychedelic there. I wonder if I can apologize. I would love to. I don't think I can. Oh no, I'm on fire. Keith's sleeping. He seems pretty fucked up. How's it going out there? I feel like I'm invincible. It's you guys I'm worried about. Yeah. You heard about Riley? I don't want to talk about it. Really. What's that? Oh, this? This is from the tomb of a Chinese warrior. Well, if I were you, I'd get rid of it. Why? This knife is going to save us. Don't let the pretty design fool you. Knives take people away. They don't bring them back. Interesting perspective, and she's not wrong. I'm so sorry about Riley. Even now, she's being way better than we deserve, in my opinion. <sighs> Although, to Jason's credit, he did lose a brother. This is his family. Situation's hard, and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Exit the cave. 
You can bring the knife to Citra. It's kind of been the natural progression of things, huh? There's other stuff we need to get done too. I think we made a good amount of story progress. And now I think it's time to, you know, balance it out with some side missions and just have a little bit of fun. Really get a chance to talk just about poor what Jason's gone through, you know? I mean, I'm not sure if Riley's dead. I'm not going to make that call until we're 100% for sure. I mean, we're hearing secondhand account. And it's not always the most reliable. Now... Not that I doubt Keith, but he's been through hell. Buck was, I knew he wasn't the best. Obviously anyone who kidnaps someone isn't going to be great. Dealing with him, him having one of our friends, I should have expected the fight. I'm honestly surprised Jason walked into that. But again, I guess, you know, most people, like I said, we've been, you do something for them, they'll do it back for you. It's been very little, to, if any, issues thus far. But again, it's just a friendly reminder that, you know, you never know what is going to happen. And you gotta be vigilant, you gotta be on your toes. And thankfully, we were, but... Who knows, you don't always get those kind of guarantees. Another cave, it appears. And here we'll get these. I am happy though. I think that, you know, reliving the memory, seeing that Jason actually played a much bigger part than I realized in uh, our bringing to this island. Man, screw that DJ. Genuinely. I don't know if he was in on it or if he knew or what, but there's a lot to unpack there. Now, I think what I will do, I'll go after this relic, and along the way, if I see anything, I'll update it. Oh, we have the shipwreck, and I'm running low on blue leaf, so I'm gonna double up here. Need this in case we want to do other stuff. And we can also, you know, get on this boat. I mean, they wanted an island where you can do anything. And that anything you can do has a cost. Like anything, truly. There's cost to living a life like this. And, uh... Costs can be high. Fortunately... This team had to, this group of people had to learn it the hard way. I do like seeing, yeah, a little bit of the life on the island. As long as it's my guys, you know. This is as long as they're gonna kill me, I guess. It's a more fair way to say it. Is this just another. We're finding more of these, the ones that are above ground. I guess I'm so used to like having to dive deep that I'm a little surprised when we don't have to. The Heron ones are probably the more interesting ones because again, I'm just so used to having to go deep. I do have a question. If you were in the situation like this, obviously no one knows exactly how they would react. Every situation is so drastically different. Do you feel for Jason and his, you know, unbelievable circumstance you know finding a little bit that you know he met the dj that brought him to the island obviously he had no idea the you know repercussions of that choice but it is definitely something that you know needs to be brought up i'm glad we're doing the memories i'm glad we're looking there we are learning but it's it's interesting you wanted a trip like this, but I guess it's that monkey's paw, yeah? I mentioned it a little earlier, but the monkey's paw where, you know, you don't... It's kind of like the genie, right? Where you don't always get what you want. I'm just... I'm pretty 
surprised by it all. The more we go in here, the the more surprised I get. Another relic obtained. Another shark. I do like how, you know, you can expect different kind of relics based on where they are. I think that's actually really cool. I guess now. The next natural place to go is to see what are some of the side objectives if they are still around. Pin to the earth. All that. Cargo dump. Yeah, okay, they're still out here. A lot to unload, a lot to do, a lot to see. But that's going to be it for this episode. That's going to be it for today. Let me know. What do you think about the whole key situation, that final fight with Buck, a little bit of the revelations? I'm curious what you have to say. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you all so much for your time. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Andrew Can. Together we can game, and I hope you have a great day.